What is something that Americans are actually very good at? Story 1. Apparently small talk. Every other country on Reddit seems put out by our ability to talk about nothing to complete strangers. Story 2. The Americans with Disabilities Act. It has made life so much nicer for folks who would normally struggle in a non-adapted world. Being in Mexico recently makes you really see how much the USA has taken ADA serious. Story 3. Preserving public land. The state and national parks are a good example. Heck, less than half of the land in the West is privately owned. In states like Arizona and Nevada, roughly 20% of the land is privately owned. The second thing is logistics. The distance between Seattle and Miami is the equivalent between London and Baghdad. You can travel by plane, boat, train, and roads with ease. Our freight rail system is the envy of the world. No one moves the amount of freight and distance with the same efficiency and safety as the U.S. freight rail system. Story for throwing. I put this down to baseball and American football. Both sports reward and require fast, accurate throwing. In Europe, you get the odd handball player who can launch a projectile accurately with ease. In the U.S., they are everywhere. Story 5. Our medical R&D is incredible. The U.S. accounts for so, 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 so much of the world's leading medical discoveries. The flip side of that is that our own citizens can't afford health care for the most part. We basically spend all the money to come up with these great medical finds then the rest of the developed world gives it to their citizens, while our own don't get to utilize it unless they are part of the 1%. Story 6. A list. Work ethic. As much as Americans complain about their jobs, it's incredibly rare for them to stop working. Hell, our work ethic is so good we have an 80-year-old president who we're begging to retire. Military. It's an incredible feat of logistics to be able to not only maintain the largest military force by a country mile, but also be capable of responding to any military threat within 24, 48 hours. Not to mention that piracy is incredibly uncommon due to the U.S. Navy protects shipping lanes. Structure of government. Say what you will about the state of U.S. democracy today, but maintaining a government for nearly 250 years without any major changes is a testament to the Founding Fathers' foresight and the faith Americans have in their government. American is effectively the gold standard for a democratic state, and our constitutional has been a model for so many countries. Media. The U.S. exports more cultural products to the rest of the world, bar none. Sure, India and China may have their own domestic and regional markets, but you can find American TV, films, and video games from Argentina to Mongolia. Hospitality. While there are certainly exceptions, Americans are generally incredibly kind to those less fortunate. So many charities, both domestic and abroad, operate with U.S. aid, both private and public. And American personnel can be found in various peacekeeping and relief groups operating worldwide. Hold my beer. If an American sets their mind on something, they do it. We put men on the moon with less computing power than a calculator. We made airplanes out of bicycle shop parts. We built golf courses in the desert and a dam capable of holding back the mighty Colorado. We connected an entire continent by iron rail and split Panama in two with a grand canal. We beat the strongest military and navy in the world with a bunch of farmers and the French and founded a republic which outlasted the monarchies we fought to remove. We created the foundation of the largest collection of information ever in human history, with the capacity to communicate with anyone anywhere with anyone else anywhere else, almost instantaneously. And we use it to post-digitally altered photographs and request food to be delivered right to our doorstep. Americans have changed the course of the world with their innovations and ideas, and history would be forever altered in their absence. Story 7, Taking Risks and Having Them Pay Off We're one of very few countries where company founders aren't personally liable if the company goes bankrupt. That allows American companies to take insane risks no one else would consider. Just look at the medicines we produce and our entire tech industry. Story 8, Driving I literally can't believe how long Americans drive to places like it's no big deal. How far is your commute? About an hour, not too bad. Wait, one hour down and one hour back? Yeah, thereabouts. Like what? Your commute eats up two hours a day, and that's not bad? Good lord, that's mental. Story 9. Home Improvement Not many countries have as strong a culture of repairing and improving their homes themselves. In some countries, it's illegal to even work on your electrical or plumbing without a license. You essentially need to hire a contractor, or at a certain point replace the entire home, as is the case in many parts of Japan. Story 10. To really know Americans, you have to ignore the national news. 
and understand that we don't like what our government has become or what it does in the world. If you get past those two things, you'll find that the vast majority of Americans aren't inherently racist, aren't violent, and we adore the culture of other nations. We're generous and friendly, overly so sometimes, and we'll talk to anyone as if we've known them forever. When the chips are down, Americans rise to the occasion and we'll figure out a way to help. Americans in general are fantastic, in spite of what the agenda-driven news portrays. Story 11. Being open with other cultures and backgrounds, and even being accommodating. USA gets a lot of flack, but I've been to a lot of countries where there's not much tolerance for anyone else but their own. Story 12. Honestly, positivity. It continues to fascinate me how Americans can have such a positive outlook on life. I feel like the cultural attitude of possibility, whether this is true or not, it's just something sorely lacking in many European cultures that tend to be more cynical about ever achieving anything. British comedians Ricky Gervais and Stephen Fry both talk about this difference in cultural attitudes. In Britain, you are subconsciously taught that certain job opportunities, life experiences, and self-improvement won't happen to you, which is often linked to ideas of class. By contrast, Americans appear to be led to believe that anything is possible and that there is no reason why you shouldn't chase your dreams, no matter how ambitious or seemingly impossible. Story 13. Venture Capitalism American VCs are much more willing to fund moonshots both literal and figurative than anyone else in the world. Part of the reason why we have the best launch vehicle technology in the world is because U.S. VCs have longer time horizons than Europeans. Story 14. Higher Education It ain't free, but the U.S. absolutely dominates the global university rankings. Our public university system, in particular, is the envy of the world. At least until various MAGA governments decide to dismantle their state universities because book learning is a Democrat conspiracy. Story 15. Moving people at large events. As a Canadian who's been to sporting events and concerts in both the U.S. and Canada, the Americans are so much better at moving crowds and directing traffic during events than we are in Canada. I chalk that up to how so much of American culture is tied to the military. And we all know that nobody does logistics better than the U.S. Army. Story 16. Actually, I know it sounds weird, but food. America is always reinventing the wheel when it comes to new flavor combinations and innovative dining experiences. I live in France, and they love to think that French cuisine in the best in the world, but some of the best restaurant experiences I've ever had were in America. We thrive on a cultural fusion of ideas, and Americans are very open-minded about new concepts. French food becomes incredibly redundant after a while, and TBH, it's pretty basic, just good quality ingredients. Story 17. Standard of living. The poorest Americans still wear designer clothes, cars, smartphones, a roof over their head, internet, and cable. It's also the only country where its poor people are also fat, so food is no issue. Compare that to what poor is in other countries. Story 18. Talking to strangers. As a tourist in the U.S., I had so many people in public just randomly start talking to me just to pass the time. On a bus, crossing a car park, whatever, just chatting to folks, they'd then hear my accent and the conversation would steer that way, but they still broke the ice first. I did mention to someone that it was only men doing this, and they said that American women do it as well, just not to solo males, for obvious reasons. But with other women, or a mixed couple, they'll break the ice with strangers as well. I haven't encountered that in any other English-speaking country I've been to. Not at that frequency, anyway. Story 19, Customer Service and Getting Things Done I'm an American, and rather disappointed with my country in many respects. However, one thing I consistently note is that U.S. companies have really excelled at customer experience, healthcare and airports not included in this observation. When I travel abroad, I'm amazed at how long things take and how slowly workers move. I've waited 45 minutes to complete simple processes like rent a car or get a prepaid SIM card in some countries. Checking out at the hardware store can be a multi-step process. I've just noticed that American companies are, by and large, pretty efficient in paperwork and process. Story 20. I'd argue American optimism and persistence are what I've heard from people in other countries I've visited. In East Asia... If you fail at something like a business or flunk out, you're done. There's no redemption. However, great successes are often built on mountains of failures. If you fail 29 times and succeed on your 30th at business, you're a success. You do that in Japan, Thailand, or Korea, and you will never hear the end of it. Ricky Gervais has talked it in numerous interviews. Eddie Izzard talked about how he wanted to be an astronaut and was immediately told, No, 
you should be a plumber. When he was a little kid, UK folks feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but pessimistic realism seems to be rampant over there. Since 9-11th, both those values have taken a hard beating. Looking back, I really miss the pre-millennium optimism. Story. 21. I'm not sure this is true anymore, but we used to be good at coming together in the face of tragedy. Think about the days just after 911. It felt like we were all more united in some way. I don't know how to explain it. It just felt like we all were wounded, but we all rose up together from it. I don't see this anymore. Story 22. As a Canadian, it looks like you also have good defect product policy down there. By default, your claim, legally, is on your side. The company must prove damage has been done by you in order to void the warranty. You could literally mod the product. If your changes didn't break the product, the part to repair, you still have a valid warranty. Any other way can't void your warranty, so those stickers, void if removed, are illegal. Story 23. Organizing logistics and supplies. I know you've heard about all the guns and the weapons and the bombs and the planes and so on. The reason our military is truly so frightening is it can organize caravans and convoys to get that shit where it needs to go. Keep supplying it with gas and bullets and keep the men and women who make all that shit fed and hydrated. This country once organized a stream of continuous cargo planes landing with 5,000 tons of food and supplies a day every day for nearly a whole calendar year between 1948 and 1949 just to piss off the communists. Story 24. Cultural Export. Be it movies, music, or fashion, the U.S. is really good at exporting cultural products. Not all are high quality, but the mass outweighs most other countries in cultural output, some more than others, but in general almost every nation is influenced by it somewhat. Story 25. Here's a quick look at some of the most recognized U.S. brands in the world. Food beverage, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, Starbucks, Subway, Burger King, Apparel, Jewelry, Levi's, Calvin Klein, Polo, Tommy Hilfiger, Coach, Michael Kors, Nike, Timberland, Carhartt, Patagonia, The North Face, Tiffany & Co., David Yerman, Harry Winston, Timex, Hamilton, Car Models, Chevy Corvette, Chevy Suburban, Cadillac Escalade, GMC Yukon, Ford Mustang, Ford F-150, Teslas, and Jeep Wrangler. Farm Heavy Equipment, Caterpillar, Bobcat, and John Deere. Tech. Apple, Microsoft, Dell, Hewlett-Packard, Google, Facebook X, Twitter. Audio. Bose, Klipsch, Macintosh, Rockford Fosgate, Altec Lansing, Phoenix Gold, JL Audio. Retailers. Amazon, Walmart, Costco, Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's Home Depot. Firearms. Smith & Wesson, Sturm Ruger, Winchester, Remington, Mossberg, Colt, Springfield Armory, Savage, Kimber, Henry, Barrett, Daniel Defense, Aerospace, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, General Dynamics, Honeywell, General Electric, and the list goes on and on and on. Story 26. Spaying and Neutering Pets. And General Animal, Pet Welfare, and Humane Treatment. There's definitely a lot of individual A-holes in America. And we could still do better ESP when it comes to commercial farming. But my God, it's way better than Asia and even parts of Europe. Go to any grocery store or public venue in L.A. and you'll see, if anything, people may be doing too much with their dogs. Story 27. Americans are good at understanding different accents and pronunciations. Like, the bar for being able to speak English is relatively low compared to other countries' languages. I've traveled to many different countries and have attempted to learn the languages and speak to people. But there's often only one way to pronounce things. And if you don't say the thing perfectly, people have no idea what you're talking about. But between immigrants and tourists, a lot of people in America speak accented or broken English and can still be understood. Perhaps it's because regional accents vary so much within America as it is. We're all used to hearing people speak the same language quite differently from us. Story 28. You guys are good at tons. You are a juggernaut of media have some of the biggest companies in the world. People call you uncultured, but realistically you are modern culture, for better or worse. You have the potential to be great, not just as a power, but as a trailblazer of how humanity will move forwards. It's just sad you can't stop the infighting and tribal politics, which unfortunately are also starting to spread across the world. You are a great country. It's time you start acting like it. Story 29. I think it's important to acknowledge that the everyday American doesn't actually believe current gun laws are okay, and patriotism is at an all-time low. Our plastering of the American flag on everything has turned into more of an aesthetic, 
and we joke a lot online with the eagle screech. It's the minority that screams the loudest. Our system tries pretty hard to keep certain demographics out of political decisions, and honestly, once someone is voted in with extreme gerrymandering, we sort of just have to accept what they are doing. I'm just a bit saddened by the wild takes other countries tend to have on the average citizen as someone who immigrated here. I think the average American is really aware of the situation in our country and how it's not doing well. We're doing pretty well at integrating different races and ethnicities despite needing to do a ton of work. Wow, we have a long way to go, but the education is working, albeit slowly. Our food situation is really cool. There's a lot of variety and twists on food from our past relatives that have evolved a lot over time. Chinese food, like lo mein, is born from a Chinese diaspora in the southern U.S. It's why there are some ties to Chinese food, but it's also unique. Italian food is another big one I can think of. They aren't butchered versions of the food from those countries, but rather their own evolution from immigrants that have adapted to the region, especially as they are passed down to family. My mom's kimchi recipe isn't like my grandmother's even because we had to make do with what we have here in the U.S. now, before A-Mart became more of a thing. I love it. The mix makes me happy in a world of trouble. Story 30. A huge amount of the differences remarked in these comments can be attributed to a single cultural factor. Americans are citizens, not subjects. Our country was founded on a social contract between the individual and the government. Our democracy is not superimposed over centuries of vassalage, as it is with most modernized European countries. The cultural roots of feudalism run deep. Our roots run through democracy, and there's just earth beneath. It's a seemingly subtle yet profound difference that begets innumerable differences in attitude and outlook for good and ill. Many Europeans are utterly unaware of this. Story 31. Foreigner to the U.S. here, so this is strictly anecdotal, and I'm leaving aside some of the measurable things said here already. We Latin Americans are a talkative bunch, just like our northern friends. Some of the best conversations I've had with strangers were with Americans while on a trip to the U.S. or some I've met elsewhere. Customer satisfaction, while not exclusive to Americans, is an area where you guys excel, generally speaking. Sure, it depends on the company and product, but I've had excellent experiences dealing with customer service departments from American companies or American branches of companies. I love that you guys take wildlife conservation so seriously. I scuba dive and overfishing is an issue in my country. Two years ago, I was in Miami and went diving, holy shit. Sharks everywhere, a good sign of healthy ecosystems, similar species to what I can find in my country, but the specimens were huge compared to what we have here. Add to this your whole national parks program, they're well kept and are beautiful. Again, something not exclusive to Americans, but I've seen it's prevalent there. Need a table? Go to Home Depot or Lowy's, get yourself a workbench, tools, hardware, and some wood. A cousin of mine has been living in the U.S. for a couple of years, and pretty much all the closets and cabinets were made by himself, despite not being a professional woodworker. As a somewhat of a DIY wire, I dream of having those huge hardware stores, stocked with products of many brands as you do. Every country has flaws, and America certainly has some that are unbecoming of a country of that status, but you guys have a lot of things to cherish and be proud of.